What's up everyone, this is Mike from iGetsWell and in today's video we're going to be installing some external storage drive to the PlayStation 5. As you can see the message on my PlayStation 5 right away that I do not have enough space to install the games to my PlayStation 5 anymore. So I'm going to go and show you guys what do I have right now and what is going on. So I'm going to head down to the uh, storage menu and show you guys that how much of the storage is already occupied and what do I have over there and what is the problem right now. Okay, so in the storage, you can see that I have the user available capacity on the console storage about 667 gigabytes. And then I got a couple of games installed. There's media gallery and then there's other. Other is like system occupied storage. So I got a couple of applications here. There's Marvel, Spider-Man, uh, remastered one. Then I got the Miles Morales Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which itself is six, 267 gigabytes of data. Then I have the Cold War, which is 206 gigabytes of data. And this is not it, guys. You're going to be getting some updates in future. There's a season out there. You will have to install that particular file too. So this storage is going to just be filled like right away. You don't even have to wait for those updates. You install like five or six games and your internal storage of 667 gigabytes of data will be just exhausted. So what the option, what are the options do we have? As far as we know that we can install the internal drive, which is the PC Express 4.0, and it is disabled right now by Sony. So we cannot install the external hard drive, which is actually kind of internal hard drive because you're putting it inside, but still it is kind of external module. You know, you have to install that by opening the PlayStation 5 cover, and then you have to put that the same way as you would put in a laptop, right? So it's kind of like that. And the problem with that is like those drives are going to be freaking expensive. You have to pay about $450 plus tax for a two terabyte drive and $250 plus tax for a one terabyte hard drive. So I have found a solution. I don't know if it's going to work or not because I haven't seen any videos or tried it. I got the Samsung portable SSD T7 model. This is the PCI Express uh, NVMe Express drive. It's USB 3.2 Gen 2. It can do 10 Gbps of data, 1000 megabytes of write speed. I mean, that should be good enough. You know, 1000 read, 1000 write. You have Gen 2 10 Gbps speed, USB Type-C to Type-C. And as far as we know that the PlayStation 5 comes with the USB Type-C to Type-C. So these are the two cables inside. One is the Type-C to Type-A, the other one is Type-C to Type-C. So I'm gonna be connecting it with the PlayStation 5 using the Type-C to Type-C because Type-C to Type-C is gonna transfer the data faster because there's nothing conversion going on, right? I mean, your Type-C to Type-A converter, if, you are, if you're given with the Type-C to Type-C and then Type-C to Type-A, which one you're gonna choose, right? The common sense is Type-C to Type-C. As you can see right there, my PlayStation is plugged in with the external hard drive, Samsung Portable is showing up here, T7 model, 2.1 terabyte. Uh, two terabyte is the total capacity. But we look at the bottom, it says that the you can install only PS4 games to this extended storage drive. So you won't be able to install the PlayStation 5 games to it. So what is the what is the reason of getting this kind of hard drive? But I think it's still good until Sony enables that PC Express Gen 4, um, you know, that slot that's disabled right now. As soon as they're going to enable it, you'll be able to install the hard drive and then you will be able to install the ps5 games but we right now not sure that which kind of drive we can install which one is certified which one is not so we are looking at somewhere around the same cost that you paid for the console you're going to be ending up paying the same for a two terabyte of the drive to get extended storage but i'm going to be formatting it as extended storage and see if i'll be able to let some room for ps5 games there in the console storage and move the PS4 games out to the extended storage, which is going to be my Samsung T7 drive. So I have to move the data there and leave, make sure that there is some room available for other games to update and install. So let's see what happens when we format it. And I'm going to try to move some games out of the internal hard drive to the external and see how long it's going to take. So first of all, I'm going to format it as uh, the PlayStation 5 drive, which is weird because it's not going to transfer anything uh, PS5 to the drive external storage. But we have done it. We have formatted it. 
Now, Assassin's Creed should install in the external drive, but it's already installed in the internal drive. So I'm going to have to move it out of the internal storage. All right, guys, so stay tuned. I'm going to move the games for PS4 from internal to external, and I'll tell you how long does it take. So I'm going to show you what do I have in the console storage and what's in PS4 and what's in PS5. So in the games and apps, if you go and, you know, click on that, you will find out that there are some applications are labeled as PS4, some applications are labeled as PS5. So if I move only Call of Duty Modern Warfare, that's gonna give me about 267 gigabytes of breathing room for the PlayStation 5 to install the updates and to install more games. And RPG games are not going to be really high capacity consuming games. Look at the Spider-Man Remastered, 53 gigabytes of storage. And then if you look at the Spider-Man Miles Morales, that's about uh, just about like 39 GB. So little barely about like 40 gigabytes of the data that is being used by the Spider-Man game. So you can install a lot of games, but when you're looking at the multiplayer games like Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, that comes with the Warzone, that's where you're looking at a lot of data to be installed over the period of time because every month or two months you have a season coming out. Whenever that season comes out, you're going to have to um, need more capacity to accommodate that kind of data to be installed in your hard drive. So for now, the only option that I found out to move the games to the external storage and then install the latest games like um, the Assassin's Creed Valhalla to the internal storage. So that's about it, guys. This is all I have from this video. I'm just moving my PS4 games out of the PS5 uh, storage, built-in storage, and let's see how it's going to take. And make sure you subscribe to the channel if you would like to see these kind of videos. And really appreciate it. We are about to hit that 10,000 subscribers, guys. So really appreciate for subscribing and sharing my video. I'll see you guys in another one. Until then, peace out.